Welcome back friends. Thanks for tuning in today to my channel. You have reached Tiffany Baby TV. I'm back with another review for you. Today's review is coming from Beauty Nation. This is a continuation of our What's in the Box series. I have another surprise wig that's coming out of this box. Go ahead and get comfortable so you can watch me work. All right, friends, the next unit that we pulled out of this big box that Captain Jack sent us is Erin by Model Model. I have Erin in the color Ice Blonde. This is a left side part wig, and this is what she looks like. Erin is a lace part unit. She has five inches of deep curved parting space here on the left. You'll receive two combs in the front, one in the back as well as your adjustable straps. There's a peek at her parting space. And this unit also comes with some baby hairs. Now, normally I would use this even tinted lace spray in order to change the color of the lace to match my complexion. However, I did test that before I started filming because I'm not used to wearing ice blonde colors like this and it bleeds through onto the hair, you see? that little bit of bleed through. So we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go underneath the cap with my regular foundation. And I'm gonna use this very sparingly because I do not want this to bleed through and onto the hair. I'm also gonna open this part up a little bit right here on the front with my tweezers and I'm also gonna cut a small V into that just so that lace lays down a little bit more flat. Now, I always like to show what I'm talking about when I say cut a V into the lace. This is the size of a V that I'm talking about. I am not talking about a deep cut into the front of your lace, friends. It should just be a very, very small snip. You shouldn't even really be able to notice it, but it makes a big difference once you put it on. All right, stock card says we're good to go up to 400 degrees feet, so we're gonna see. All right, friends, here's your 360 of Erin, and I'll be right back with you to tell you my thoughts. All right, so here are my thoughts on Erin. It's gonna be a no for me, dog. This one is just not giving me what I needed to give me. I think that the color is very pretty. I do like the color, so don't think that it's just because it's a platinum icy blonde that I don't like it. I don't like the way that they constructed this. It is it's comfortable, it fits just fine, but this is so thick, you guys. This is like a tuft of hair. I don't know how else I could describe it. This feels like just a toupee sitting right here on top of my head. This bang is so, so, so thick and unnecessary. This cap is just super dense. This is not natural looking or feeling at all. I do like the way that the bang is falling, but as you saw, that didn't fall that way out of that package. It did require a little bit of manipulation and it also took a little bit of hairspray to get it to look like it looks here on the stock card. I also don't like how thin this is. This is so thin. I feel like this is a mullet, especially for how thick it is up here. Why would they put so much hair and so many tracks up here only to give you just a thin little smattering of hair down under here? Absolutely unacceptable. This could have been so hard. The texture's not bad. It's a little bit stringy, but that's probably because it's this color, but it is thicker than I was expecting it to be, but it's still not thick enough. Does that make sense? I don't know. She's a $20 hodler, so for 20 bucks, I could maybe toss her in the cart if I was trying to get towards free shipping, but this is definitely not something that I would run out and make a dedicated purchase for. I just don't like it enough. I might potentially like it better in a natural color, but with the way that this is, and uh, no, hun, we, we've graduated to frontals. I guess I've just become a bougie wig wearer and full cap wigs, unless they're done perfectly, just aren't gonna be satisfactory to me because there's no lace, 
There was no gluing this down. This is not gonna get any more natural than what I've got it. There's nothing else that you can do with it because there's no lace. You can't pluck the hairline. You can't do anything with this, sis. It is what it is. You put it on, you slide it down behind your ear, and you go, pretty much. So for $20, again, it's not a terrible unit. I just, I need more. I need more in 2020. Even if I'm not going anywhere, even just to sit at home, I need more than this. I'm sorry, but I will always be honest with you guys. That is something that you can trust and believe you will always get from Tiffany Baby TV. I'm not gonna gas these wigs up if they're not worth it. I do appreciate the opportunity to review this for you guys. So thank you to Beauty Nation for continuing to rock with me and to support my channel and to keep us going and to keep sending us these units so that we can give you a sneak peek and let you know the good, the bad, and the ugly. I hope that this review was helpful for you. I do the hope that you'll give this a big thumbs up. Please don't thumbs it down because I don't like the unit. You might like the unit. Your mom might love this unit. This might be perfect for a beginner that's not looking for something that needs to be glued or plucked or otherwise installed. This is a good throw and go for that purpose. So make sure that you're subscribed if you're not already. Make sure that you continue slaying with me. Thank you so much for the time that you spend watching Tiffany Baby TV. Have a wonderful rest of your day, loves. Mm -hmm. Bye, friends. Thank you.